good morning welcome to another weekly vlog um i'm about to go to lunch i've got like a work thing um and then when i get back i'm gonna make some granola well i i need to film and then i'm gonna make some granola um i think i've said this on here already but i've been gluten free gluten dairy and uh, meat free for three months now i'm a pescatarian and i feel like gluten-free granola is really not nice and i think they use so much sugar to as a preservative because i feel like gluten acts as like it stretches things it inflates things but i also think it must be a preservative because it's in literally every single baked good so i've really struggled to find like a nice granola that I actually enjoy eating like really crunchy just nice and I've been seeing a lot of recipes on TikTok of people who make their own granola I'm gonna see if I can find the video if I could also find my phone that would be useful oh it was literally right in front of me crazy anyway um, I saw a really good recipe on TikTok. Make this homemade granola because not only is it super delicious and kind of tastes like caramel popcorn, it is so easy to make and you can store them in jars and leave it in the fridge for the week. So first you want to combine brown butter, dark brown sugar, maple syrup, and a splash of vanilla. That is my plan for the evening. Um, I'm really looking forward to it because I've been eating porridge every single day and I don't want to eat porridge right now. But yeah, I've just come out of the end of like possibly the worst flu I I've had ever like I was sick for two weeks at the end of my Paris vlog I was um sick when I went to Paris I was sick I had a cold and then I think being in Paris and like just being out and like working I think that just made me like more ill so then the cold like developed into the flu then I came home and I was literally like so sick all week um so now I'm like at the end of the flu um thank god because wow um, so yeah, I'm just finally getting back on my feet again. I'm like a little bit behind on work and stuff. So I need to um, get back up to pace. Um, but yeah, I'm literally dressed very casually today. I'm literally wearing just this like shirt t-shirt. Um, I got it from Connor Isles. He makes them using dead stock fabric. So every t-shirt you get is different. So I don't think you can get this one. It's just... He just uses whatever fabric he has and I like that it sort of like holds your boob boobies, you know? Um, mango shaped boobies stand up. Then I just have on these jeans, they're like straight leg jeans from weekday. Um, I wear them a lot, they're like my favourite shaped pair, I think they're really flattering on me. Um, and if you are a short girl, you will know that when you wear low rise, you should always have a little gap because it breaks up your body more and makes you look less short. Uh, right now I have my Uggs on but I'm going to go put my shoes and my jacket and bag and then I'm going to head out to lunch so I will see you soon. Morning, um, welcome back. I went to bed last night and I had a really bad headache and I'm vlogging in the mirror because I feel like it looks cool. I had a bad headache, it started at like 7 and then it just progressively got more intense um, and then I woke up this morning and I still have the headache um and a headache has been a feature of my life for the past like seven months i never used to get headaches before and now i'm like a person that gets headaches or migraines um so i just took all my vitamins for the day um and i'm going to go and buy some hair dye because i want to dye my hair red you guys know i have red hair now so I want to dye my bundles red. I bought some new hair. Um, so yeah, I thought why not, you know, it's April. It is April. Yeah, it's April and it's sunny. Well, not now, but it will be sunny. So it's like, um, it'll make me feel better. I always do my hair to make myself feel better. It's like a thing that I've literally always, like for my whole life, literally, I always do my hair and it always makes me feel better. So I'm gonna go and do that and simultaneously go for a walk whilst doing it. So that will make sense. And I have to do a return. And I wanna go Holland and Barrett because I wanna get liquid magnesium. Um, some people on TikTok were saying to me also that they took liquid magnesium because I told them to and their sleep was really good. So I feel like if you um, struggle to sleep at night, like you don't sleep deeply, 
um, you should try magnesium or liquid magnesium. I um, apparently it's also good for you if you also have like bad periods or like joint issues. So you should just give it a try and then see how you get on. But let me show you my bundles so you can see what I'm working with. So I bought um, a 13 by six frontal. You know, I've actually never used this before. Isn't that weird? I think I've done it once ever. Um, so yeah, I bought this and then I just got some hair. So right now it's literally just that weird brownie color. Um, so I'm gonna go and get some hair dye and work on this. I've made it to hold in my bag. Um, I'm looking for, oh, I see them. Let me show you. So I just got back home from my errands and I'm gonna just make some, reheat my dinner that I ate last night. So I had some rice and I made like a chickpea curry. It was very quick, it took me like 20 minutes. Um, you know when you're so tired you feel like you can't even think straight? That's literally how I felt yesterday. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat the rest. Well, not the rest, but I'm gonna eat what I made last night. And I've got just some corn on the cob in the air fryer. Um, just cause it was like, I think it was going off tomorrow. So it was the last day and I haven't had a single one. So I was like, okay, I might as well actually eat this. I'm very good at eating things that are like, if I see something in the fridge, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll eat that. So that's my plan. And I have just mixed salad. So I'm gonna have that with mixed salad. And this mango chutney from Greeters is so tasty like this is so good i sometimes i could low-key just have a spoonful i haven't done that before but it's literally so good rice lentils um my corn finished in the air fryer i made two because i'm hungry and then i'm gonna put some chutney on the side it has like whole pieces of of garlic so just avoid that okay but it has that like mango it's just so good like this is just so good so tasty also i have some iced tea that i made yesterday this is chai um and i had it in the fridge so i thought i might as well just make an iced chai you know why not i did some sh syrup I did some syrup at the bottom and then normally the best way to make this would be with just milk but I feel like this way is still fine um it's not gonna be as rich you know as like if you were to use all milk and the tea bag but you can't have rich things all the time it doesn't coincide with healthy lifestyle then I'm just gonna add some of my milk i started using hazelnut milk i don't drink oat milk anymore because most of it is not gluten free so you have to like double check because i think some brands make it gluten free but some brands don't and then i just add some vanilla just a drop maybe two drops and some cinnamon but this is sweet cinnamon which is best for like like sweet stuff whereas the other cinnamon is like more for cooking so that is what i'm gonna do and then just like a teeny bit of cinnamon on top and then here's my iced chai and my lemon it's like four o'clock, so is this like tea time? I don't know. 
so I just ate my lunch um, and I'll show you quickly what I picked up so I got this star power vitamins it says it's for menopause but um, I just wanted like a general hormone support vitamin um, for like periods period pains like managing your cycle that type of thing um, and it has vitamin B6 folic acid niacin pantothenic acid vitamin A vitamin E B12, biotin, D3, zinc, chromium, iodine, manganese, copper, soya extract, red clover, ginseng, maca, pine bark, and para amino benzoic acid. So a lot of the ingredients are actually really good for like inflammation, period pains, um, your skin, like things that are affected literally if you're somebody that has periods. So that's essentially what I was looking for and I was actually looking on the star power website like maybe last month because the ones I have now like my daily vitamins they taste so bad and they leave like a sickly taste in my mouth after I eat them and also when I take pills as well um, I can just taste the pill for like hours after I don't know why it's really weird but it makes it difficult for me to like be consistent because they taste so bad so it's like why would I subject myself to that, you know? So I was like, okay, let me get some gummies. So let's see if this is, and it's also, it's 40 pounds, but they had buy one, get one free. So I got two for 40 quid. You have two a day, and I believe that there are 60 in the pack. So this should last one month. Oh, that is good. It tastes like um, fruit pastels. I will eat this I'm like a kid when it comes to stuff like this as well like I'll just I'll if something doesn't taste nice I don't I hate it I can't engage anyway <laughs> also I picked up some liquid magnesium like I was telling you before um so good for sleeping like this will put you to bed like take this before bed best sleep you've ever had this one is Floridix. I know they also do they also do liquid iron. I was taking liquid iron for a time in my life, but I don't take it anymore. Well, not that one, but I have the blue sachets and you just take one every day. That works for me, like I'm happy with that. One of my friends recommended it to me. She was like, it really helps her to have energy. So if you're like a low energy babe, a low iron babe, think about getting that iron supplement and then when i went to the hair shop i showed you guys anyway but i just picked up um some hair dye i've used this dye before um i'll put a picture of the hair that i have that is with this dye i wanted weller because that's the one i normally use but they didn't have that shade and i love that shade so much it's like my closure wig at the moment um but yeah they didn't have the shade and i did i do sort of need to do this hair because i'm going to la on thursday so i don't want to like like i don't want the week to start and then i'm like running around because i haven't organized myself properly so yeah i just thought okay let me just use this one i got one shade darker than i got the last time i bought it last time i did 6.6 .6, which is what i have now and i got 5.6 so my plan is to mix them together and hopefully get a shade that's like a deep red like a very rich red but still is very obviously red like i don't want it deep enough that it's black so i'm happy to stay in like level six and five which is why i stayed here um but yeah i just want it to be deep i want it to be rich you know so yeah that's my plan i was planning to do it today but i'm too tired i don't think i can do it today so i'm probably gonna do it tomorrow I can either make the wig today and then dye it tomorrow or dye it today and make it tomorrow um, but I think I might make it today that's like way less effort than um, dyeing it today so that's sort of my plan if I'm being real and my boyfriend says that we are going to the cinema we're gonna go and watch poor things with emma stone um bianca recommended it to me ages ago this was in like march and i meant to go but like things just happened as things usually do so um i'm going we're gonna go tonight and watch it it should be good it looks very quirky and different and interesting which is 
I think what you want, I feel like going to the cinema isn't the same, like people don't go as much and I find that um, when movies are released, they go onto like um, Netflix, Prime Video like really fast, whereas before it would be at least like two, three years before it would go onto like a streaming service. But yeah, I'm gonna chill for a bit and then yeah, we're gonna go watch the movie. I say morning, but it's actually half past one. Um, but I've only now decided to make this granola because I want a snack. And my boyfriend keeps buying non-gluten-free granola. So every time, like, I want to have cereal, I can't have any cereal. Like, we don't have any non-gluten-free cereal. So... And the gluten-free cereal, I have this one, let me show you. It's from Deliciously Ella. Um, it's so sweet, like, it's so sweet that it gives me a headache when I eat it. And I like sweet things. So for me to say that it's sweet, it's like so sweet. And it also doesn't, it's not like crunchy, it's got this weird texture. Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't give, it gives nothing. So I found this recipe, I showed you, I don't know if I showed you guys the recipe or not, but um, I found a recipe on TikTok and it looks really easy. So I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> Basically, I bought the things slowly throughout the week. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make some gluten free granola. recipe they put 70 grams of dark brown sugar and 85 grams of maple syrup but I'm gonna half each um, measurement because I don't want it to be too sweet I think maybe I can instead of 70 grams um, maybe I'll do 30 grams and then the maple syrup is 85 so I'll do 40 um, I think that would be best, so that's what I'm do. This is 30 grams of sugar. Okay, then this is 50 grams <laughs> of maple syrup. So the splash of vanilla extract, which is what we have. And the oats then? Yeah, it is. 350 grams of oats. I'm gonna do like a tablespoon of vanilla. Maybe I'll do two, I like vanilla. Mixed nuts, 240 grams. I bought almonds, because I like almonds. I don't know, maybe if I should like break it up, or if I should have them whole. See that. You're looking for the cream. I need to add more coconut oil. There you go. I was kind of dry. I'm gonna add desiccated coconut to it. I've got sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and sesame seeds here. And then I'm just gonna add some dates. Um, but I think I need to like cut them up because I don't want it to just be like big, um, mm. just big pieces of dates. This is where I'm at now. Um, hers looks so much better, but I'm just gonna bake it and see how it goes. Okay, and I forgot that we need to put cinnamon. So how much did she use? She did, oh, just a pinch. It'll be easier to. Okay. I feel like that's small. That's small. I'm just gonna use the
So please cross your fingers for me that this comes out good. Oh, I forgot to add my desiccated coconut. Did you have to mix it in maybe or no? Okay, I'll use that spoon thing. Oh, also, I use gluten-free oats, so, and in my, t I actually prefer to eat these ones, these ones from Waitrose, they're really good, because they're, like, um, big, you see how the flakes are massive, I think that helps, um, I like oat porridge where you can, like, taste the oat flakes, I don't like when it's mushy, it reminds me of, like, vomit, if it's like that, it's disgusting, so I like big flake oats, Whereas I find that these Quaker ones, they're really small because if I ate it once, I was like, oh, this is not nice. So I hope that now they'll be stuck together. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven now. Um, I will be back in half an hour to show you if it looks good or not, <laughs> basically. Bye. Mm -hmm. It's hard. That's a good sign. Hard means it's gonna be crunchy when it cools. A win is a win. I bought a mangosteen. I just cracked it open. I love these so much. We ate them in Bali. Um, but I used to buy them before from the market. But it's like you take the flesh part out. It's so good. Mm. And there's like a lychee. Like a sweet and sour lychee. That's how it looks. Like you crack it open and then you take out the fleshy part. I smashed it with my hand, that's why I spread on my hand. But it looks like this. There's a seed, but it's so tasty. Go to your market and get one, okay? And try it and tell me how it is. It's finally cool. So I'm just going to break it. The girl used her hands, but I don't know if I want to use my hands. That's really hard though, guys. You guys, here is the granola. Somebody has been eating the granola down. <laughs> Down. After he was he was like, oh, it's so unhealthy. <laughs> oh, babe, you made it too greasy. Then this guy's been crunching up the for come, the come, past come, like two days. I didn't even without a chip in it. Well, it doesn't matter. Basically, <laughs> basically, I wasn't um, criticizing <laughs> MK's cooking. I was more saying it's not a healthy breakfast that we want it to be. It's still paying. But we're gonna take, well, we've already tasted it, but we'll taste it with you guys as well so you can see what's good. There's the inside. So, look, you know, it looks all good, don't you? Go and buy it, what are you saying? Yeah, it's crunchy, it's nice, it's sweet, you know? It tastes good, it tastes, it tastes like Nature Valley. You know the green? Oh, it does actually. It tastes like Nature Valley. This is my gluten free milk. A lot of oat milk has gluten in it, which I didn't know. So now I don't drink oat milk, I drink hazelnut milk. But but Californ California Farms, they have gluten-free milk. Apparently, they say on the website that they use gluten-free oats, but it's not like zero micro milligrams of gluten. It's like, like under 10 something something. So it's technically low gluten. So it depends if you're like a celiac, you just don't. Don't say Makai killed you. But this one, yeah? But right, if cool. you can have gluten but you choose not to, you can get that one. Anyway, so here it is. And imagine when I pulled it out, he was like, oh, put more. And I was like, you just been eating the whole jar. You want to eat more? Like, be serious. Just pour a little bit, babe. Gentle. Yeah, I need it for my match. <laughs> here it is. Can y'all see that? I don't want to pull the Talk. milk. Talk this morning. I haven't even had it with milk, I've just been snacking with it. I can't even lie to you, just giving a snack. I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. All right. It tastes like, it does taste like granola. It's good though. It is nice, but it's not healthy. 
Like you have to go to dentist, like <laughs> if, you, if you keep eating this. If you're cashew, if you're a cashew milk guy cashew or person, milk. cashew milk and matcha, cold matcha in the morning, that's you done. I would like it to be more like hard. Do you get what I mean? Like, but like you know when you go shop and they have granola, like those breakfast bars. Mm. What well, I would say though, it's not a fair. The taste is good. It it's tastes like, like granola. It's like R and D. Research and yeah, it's already it's not L. It's calm. It's gonna be finished. It's obviously not an L. He's literally ate it all. Next time I'll just use maple syrup. I won't use sugar. I'll use big oats, like proper big ones from the waitress ones I like. And I think the seeds and the nuts and the desiccated coconut was good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this was, yeah, I tried my best. You know, um, I think it came out good. So. And that is literally it for this week. I've got all my stuff here because that's for the next vlog. Um, but yeah, it was a chilled weekend, um, which is actually what I'm trying to do more these days. I feel like before I used to um, try and always do so much on the weekend. Like we would be like every weekend, like trying to go cinema, like go market, Shoreditch. Brick Lane, thrifting. Where else will we go, babe? Just, just like out, out, out like just drinks. out, drinks, eating, everything. And then like Monday, I'll be so tired, like so tired. Summer though. But if that's true. Maybe because it's winter, you want to hibernate more. And when the sun's out, you're like more inclined to go outside. But saying all that to say, outside. resting and We're chilling outside. is important. Um and it's important to like listen to what your body is saying like i was also so tired i feel like i said this before but the first three months of the year have been like just zero to 100 so sometimes you have to just tell your give your body the time it needs to adequately rest and resting is boring sometimes like it's not fun it's not sometimes it's not like the cute like face mask and like bathtub and and like scented body creams and just like eating like picky bits like sometimes self-care picky bits also if you're not a british person is like snacks like olives and crisps and like little fruit bowls and like stuff that's like that's not a meal <laughs> like girl dinner um self-care doesn't look like that like sometimes it's like stocking up on your eczema cream and making sure that you are using your benzoyl peroxide because it's the time of the month when you get breakouts and reading a good book and lying down like lay down there's no outside it doesn't matter if it's 30 degrees and it's sunny and there's a bit of breeze lay down like your body is tired like you are like stressed out you need some time to not be overstimulated by being online and not being vocal and not being outward like sometimes inward do you know what i'm saying so yeah thank you for watching um this vlog and i will see you in the next one love you long time